is a bilateral lower extremity arterial duplex in a patient with claudication. We begin at the right common femoral artery where we can see a multiphasic Doppler waveform and a velocity of 168 centimeters per second. Here's the common femoral artery bifurcation and we can see that there's some plaque built up in the arteries. Here's common femoral the profunda and the superficial femoral artery, all with some plaque visualized. Here at the profunda femoris artery, we again see the biphasic waveform and a velocity of 106 centimeters per second. Then at the superficial femoral artery origin, we can see that there is a slightly biphasic component to the waveform, but it's not as clearly demonstrated as at the common femoral or the profunda. So there is possibly something happening in this artery distally, and we'll continue with the exam to find out. Here at the proximal thigh, we can see a velocity increase to 254 centimeters per second. So that is an increase from 108, and it's essentially more than doubled. So that would generally be considered a significant stenosis greater than 50%. Here again, moving through the superficial femoral artery, we see disease, a plaque within the vessel lumen, and a velocity of 170 centimeters per second. And we can see that there's some turbulence in the waveform and a loss of the biphasic component. Again, both of these things suggest a greater than 50% proximal stenosis. At the distal thigh, plaque within the vessel lumen, and again, the sharply monophasic waveform with a velocity of 207 centimeters per second, which is also elevated. Moving through the distal thigh, we can see a decrease in the velocity to 81 centimeters per second. And we notice that the waveform remains monophasic. Also at the popliteal artery, we can see the rounded peak with monophasic flow. This below the baseline is likely from the overlying vein that we can see here in the image. So this is actually artifact from the vein and not biphasic flow within the artery. The posterior tibial artery demonstrates monophasic flow again, as well as the dorsalis pedis. So we can see that there is diminished flow to the level of the ankle in the right lower extremity. Now moving on to the left lower extremity, we see the common femoral artery with a velocity of 115 centimeters per second and a slightly biphasic component to the waveform. At the profunda, however, we can see very turbulent flow above and below the baseline with a velocity of 272 centimeters per second. This again would indicate stenosis in this area. And here on the grayscale image, we can see plaque within the vessel lumen. The proximal superficial femoral artery. We will see, again, turbulent flow with monophasic component and a velocity of 114 centimeters per second. This can be due to disease in the common femoral artery, which maybe we missed, or there may be something happening downstream, which we will continue with the exam to find. Mid-thigh, again, we see monophasic blunted flow. And here there's a velocity increase to 147 centimeters per second, which was increased from 39 centimeters per second. So again, that's more than doubled And in the mid thigh, we can see plaque throughout the vessel lumen. Here at the distal thigh, on spectral Doppler, there's no flow identified. And here the sonographer has labeled this TO for total occlusion. And we will also assess this with color Doppler. Here we see the vein, but no flow in the artery. 
and again. Here's the arterial flow coming through the superficial femoral artery and then it stops here. Here we see a small collateral vessel coming off of the artery with no flow in this area. Again, suggesting a total occlusion. And here with power Doppler, it's demonstrated as well. So with ultrasound, we've essentially proven to the best of our ability that this distal superficial femoral artery is occluded. Then the popliteal artery, we get the tardis parvus monophasic waveform, also consistent with significant proximal obstruction. And this flow continues down the leg, so we'll see it in the posterior tibial artery, as well as at the dorsalis pedis, although this velocity is higher than the posterior tibial, and it looks like there may be some disease within the artery here. So to summarize, we found a moderate stenosis of the right superficial femoral artery with waveforms deteriorated all the way to the ankle. And on the left, we found a significant stenosis of the profunda femoris artery, as well as a total occlusion of the distal superficial femoral artery.